what's up viewers this is the cell today we will react to julia paxton's um living through depression story on how she handled her emotional self so let's do this My name is Julia and I'm 19 years old. In 2017, was diagnosed with major depressive disorder. I almost lost this battle. I didn't think it was gonna get better, but it did. I've had anxiety since I was a little kid. I always had this feeling that something terrible was gonna happen. So take note guys, kahit na bata ka pa lang, Ang pwede ka nang magkaroon ng anxiety na takot ka sa mga bagay-bagay, ganon. Kahit na sa murang edad pa lang. And that presented itself and tightness in my chest. I'd get really shaky. I would have a lot of stomach pain. Those were the physical ways that it came out. For the longest time, I didn't know that was my anxiety. I just knew that was something that happened to me. Around middle school. So, akala niya yung, ano niya, yung paglaing pagsakit ng tiyan niya, yung parang may tatakbo-takbo sa tiyan niya, at kung ano-ano po nararamdaman niya, akala na lang na normal lang yon na kinakabahan, ganun. But, it turns out na anxiety pala. School, I started to get depressed. And it progressively got worse as I got into high school. Everything just seemed kind of gray. And a lot of worthlessness, too. I don't have anything to offer. From the outside, I think I hit it pretty well. I was a straight-A student. I hung out with my friends. I babysat all the time. I was involved in my church youth group. I didn't let people see that there was something going on. That was what stayed closed behind my bedroom door. Things started to feel more heavy. I started to self-harm as a way to cope. I started having suicidal ideation. I told my mom, I don't think I can keep myself safe. Although, kahit na nakikipagsalamuha ka sa iba, pwede ka pa rin magkaroon ng depression. Kahit hindi nakikita nila na ano, ganito, ganyan. But, pwede pa rin maging depressed ka. And I know my parents were shocked when they knew how bad it actually was. It was on a Sunday night. My mom called Children's, their hotline. I was evaluated by a social worker. And I think it was honestly the first time I was completely open about what was happening. And I told my social worker that I didn't necessarily want to die. And I knew that I needed a break from what was happening, from all the things I was feeling. And death seemed like the only option. And I just remember crying to her and being like, I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm stuck. So talaga guys, if nakakaramdam tayo ng anxiety at depression, kailangan natin ng medical help or di kaya um, magkakaroon tayo ng um, treatment for that. Kasi nga kung papabayaan ng natin, syempre baka mas marami yung possibilities na maging ano tayo, mapahamak tayo, ganun. <clears throat> Here, I was completely broken. Oh, I could barely see the point in staying alive. I felt so ashamed of myself. And these people, they just treated me like a person. I felt validated and I had some hope. And like, you know, I knew that like, okay, when I ask for help, help is given and it works. And I knew that this break I was looking for could be found in a hospital room instead of dying. Today, I am in remission from my depression for the first time in who knows how long. I'm getting to know parts of me that aren't just she was anxious great, um, and depressed. Example for people I'm from who are experiencing I'm um, in social work, and I really depression want to work in children. Like, uh, na so social work para mag-spread ng awareness about how to cope their um, emotional self or di kaya yung kanilang depression, anxiety, at iba pa. Specifically in a crisis or inpatient setting. I started to become really passionate about advocating once I made it to the other side. Because I almost didn't make it. 
you're not at fault for where you are right now. It's okay to be afraid, but I don't want you to give up. Because the thing about depression is it lies. You know, you gotta fight to be here because it does get better. Um, and all of these lies will eventually go away. Um, you just have to hold on because it doesn't get to win. It doesn't get to take you. So you're stronger than that and you're worth more than that. And it's possible. So yun, sabi nga ni Julia, we should have to fight. So kailangan natin labanan yung mga emotional natin na feelings kasi nga it is it is a lie so ayun kailangan talaga na na um start pa lang or bago pa lang na kukop natin or na bibigyan na natin ng solusyon para nga hindi na lumala take note guys suicide is not the solution for your problems but ang kailangan mong gawin is mag-ask ng medical help Um, pumunta ka sa psychiatrist at magpa-consult ka kung anong dapat mong gawin at saka kung paano mo matitreat yung depression mo and also kap if you have problems kailangan talaga na na i-inform mo yung family mo para di ba magkakaroon yung solution yung mga problems mo hindi yung kinikimkim mo lang kaya ayun nagkakaroon ka ng depression di ba nakakapag-isip ka ng di mabuti so yun So, Julia Paxton was informing us na sa murang edad pa lamang natin, nagkakaroon na tayo ng, dep ng anxiety, um, depression, kasi nga, although nakikipaghalubilo nga tayo, but our emotion, our emotional self, kinikimkim lang natin, hindi natin um, nilalabas. So, it is a big no-no, ba? Diba? We need to share. Hindi lang dapat na tatahimik lang tayo sa tabi, ganun, iyak lang. But, we need to share talaga. Once again, this is Diesel. Thank you for watching guys. Kita-kits tayo sa mga next video. Ingat!